Hey guys, and welcome and welcome back to my channel. So if you follow me on Twitter, then you know this video was supposed to be up yesterday, but I thought yesterday was Thursday until about 9 p.m. and that's when I realized, oh, nope, it's Friday. You know, I think this heat is getting to me. That is why my hair is the way that it is right now. And I said this video was going to be up weeks ago, but I am finally doing it. I am finally bringing you a demo and review of the new Becca Liquid Crystal Glow Gloss. Yeah, I got it right. Liquid Crystal Glow Gloss. So if you want to know more about these, then stay tuned. So these released a while ago. I want to say the first or second week of June, I believe. Yeah, early June, and I got these in the mail if you follow me on Snap, then you know I showed these and the highlighters that they released at the same time as well. One of which I'm wearing right now, which is the Light Chaser Highlighter in Pearl Flashes Gold, and that is what that highlighter looks like. And I said you guys want to see a video on it, and you said yes, so here I am. These retail for $22 for 0.17 ounces, and let's just quickly go into the claims so I can start figuring out how to use these glosses. Now, this says it is a gloss with kaleidoscope pearls that create an otherworldly liquid crystal glowing lip look. Inspired by raw gemstones melted into liquid form, kaleidoscope pearls shift shades as they catch the light to take every lip look to the next level. Each shade features a custom mix of unique pearls blended together to create a multi-dimensional finish that flatters all skin tones. The conditioning lip gloss formula is infused with a luxurious coconut and vanilla scent and enriched with nurturing nurturing ingredients that leave lips feeling lavishly soft and sp so here are all six shades and i'm going to put this ever so cute makeup bag that they came in down gently on the ground okay and i watched two or three videos on these and everyone that i watched just swatched the actual lip gloss on their lips that's it but i was like aren't these lip toppers like aren't you supposed to put them on another thing as like you know a topping effect on your lips so I figured you know I'll try like one or two just themselves on my lips and then try them as an actual lip topper to see how they look but let me just pick one random one I'm gonna take this one in the shade topaz times guilt and swatch that on my hand to see how it looks it has this brown purplish look in the bottle and then on your hand it comes out kind of blue is it pick yeah it's picking up right it, it, okay. so that's the thing with all of these it'll look one shade in the actual tube and then once you put it on wherever you're putting it on it's gonna look a different color depending on how the light picks it up so this shade pearl times gold I'm assuming looks pearl and it's gonna come out looking gold. Alright, let's see here. Yep, so looks this color and then can't see to save my life. Oh, can you see that? I'm not sure. Oh, wait, okay, there. So that is the shade that it'll look once you take it out of the tube and actually apply it. So I'm going to take this shade, which is Champagne Dream Times Bellini, and put that on my lips. Yeah, see, that's why I feel like it's weird that people are just putting this on their lips because I mean yeah you could just you know if you're on the run not really trying to do anything special you can just put this on and go but I feel like you don't really get that much effect with just the lip gloss but um yeah it's this champagne dream times Bellini this looks like a champagne and on your lips it looks a little bit more rose goldy pink. So I'm going to try one more just the lip gloss on my lips and then I'm going to apply them all on top of a lipstick to see how they work as lip toppers. So this is in the shade Opal Jade. Okay. 
Okay, so this one looks like this, some type of purple, and when you put it on your lips, it'll come out looking green, whichever way the light reflects on top of it. So let me take that off, and I'm going to use ColourPop Limbo. You know, I just wanted a color that was kind of close to my actual skin tone, and apply them all on top of it. Okay, so I definitely chose the wrong type of formula to try with these lip toppers. I forgot ColourPop formulas can be quite hard to remove. So my lips are on fire right now because I just had to put it on and take it off five times. Yeah, because I left this one on. So I take put it on and take it off five times. But as far as these lip gloss lip toppers go, um, if we're talking just lip gloss, like if you wanted to purchase these as just a lip gloss, do I think you should? Probably not. Um, the only two that I would are, what were they? The Champagne Times Bellini and this Pearl Times Gold. Really, for just lip glosses, I didn't feel like they really did much. Um, and I felt like they, the formula was a bit stickier if you're using them as just a lip gloss. I'll get into what I mean further later on. Um, so if you were thinking, oh, I want to get those as just a lip gloss, eh. I mean, they are pigmented. Like, they will, you know, show up for sheen lip glosses, especially, you know, glittery lip glosses, or at least that appear glittery. But, um, they're just, it's, okay. I wouldn't I wouldn't rush to use these if I was thinking I just want to put lip gloss on my lips for today now if we're talking using these as lip toppers like if you're in Sephora and you think I want to purchase that as a lip topper would I recommend these absolutely I would once again opal nope pearl times gold and champagne bellini and whatever this blue one is um were my favorite three even though I only use them on a brown lip I feel like they didn't really do that much as far as lip toppers but if you start getting more creative with the colors that you put these on top of I think they're gonna be really pretty and like I said a moment ago for the lip glosses if you're using it as just lip gloss I feel like it's gonna be very sticky on your lips and if you don't like someone who likes that type of consistency on your lips then you might not like them but if you put them on top of another lipstick it gives them this type of consistency on your lip where it's still sticky but you won't feel that it's sticky and it's the right type of sticky I know that sounds confusing but if you've seen that the video that I did on the Jouer lip glosses yeah the lip glosses I said in there that the only thing that I didn't really like was that the formula was so slippery for a lip gloss that it's gonna slip and slide and get everywhere and transfer everywhere this was the type of that was my chair shaking on the table. This is the type of consistency that I meant that I wanted for those lip glosses. When you put these lip toppers on top of a lipstick, it creates this type of stickiness that it's gonna stay in place better than the other lip glosses, but it won't feel so, you know, it feels actually more hydrating, especially since this is a ColourPop matte lipstick, which can be kind of drying for people. Um, it, I really do like the, new formula that it kind of cre creates when you use it as a lip topper on another lipstick 
and um, I like the color that it changes to when you use it as a lip topper on top of another lipstick and like I said if you start using these on top of blues oranges, reds, pinks, you will get very nice outcomes on your lips. Now these as lip toppers are going to help whatever lipstick you put it on top of stay a little bit better, but they're not they're not going to be transfer proof. It's just going to help stay a little better and it's not going to get everywhere. It's not going to get on your teeth and it's not going to get on like the rim of your mouth. Did it? No. Yeah, no, it didn't get on the rim of my mouth after doing that, but it is going to transfer. Um, but like I said, I prefer them more as a lip topper. I feel like as lip toppers, they will help you create a good lip gloss. Because as just lip gloss, I'm not really here for it. But as lip toppers, I'm here for it. More specifically, I'm here for those three shades. Just, just those three shades. Okay, so that is it for this video. I hope seeing these on my face and hearing some of my thoughts has helped in your decision of whether or not you're going to try them out for yourself. Make sure to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! It's all me, ain't all me, just